hey guys welcome on my youtube channel everything technical this is deepak so now in this video we are just going to execute a bad file through the jenkins the scenario is we want to execute the bad file which is a remote windows machine in that that bad file is present and we want to execute that through the jenkins and jenkins is installed in linux machine so for that what we have to do what configuration we have to do that we will see in this video watch till end this video we'll find it out how easy the steps are and how we can just do all these changes so it's very simple that we have to just uh, do some changes and do some configuration into the windows and jenkins server okay so before i start i want you to please do subscribe my youtube channel and also please press the bell icon to get the new video notification and if you have any query any suggestion related to the video so that also you can do comment below the video so let's start with the video now we are just going to archive the task we are just going to execute the bad file which is present into the windows machine windows remote machine and our jenkins which is running under the linux machine so let's see how we will do that for that what we have to do so first i'll go ahead and i'll start the jenkins so here i have started jenkins now i have to go to the inside the browser I will get the option a lot of the things so in the browser I will get the option that we have to configure that I need to configure and later what I have to configure inside the windows that we are just going to see we start this okay so as you can see my Jenkins is started working here and after it's get started I need to go to the manage Jenkins inside the manage jenkins we will get the option manage nodes and clouds click on that you will get a node name as a single node which is master so i we have to just create a new nodes i will create in the name of win i will check this box and we'll go for okay so here we have to put some details that i will give here win number of executor execution yeah, executor remote directory need to be give so I'm just giving it as it is barely Jenkins so remote directory basically I will provide that directory sorry windows so here you can see my windows is here so inside the windows I have a bad file that I need to execute so first I will check that instead of executing this I will check that these directories and these things I'm getting into the console by which I will trigger a build so here you can see it is a remote machine windows remote machine so here I was looking for something so yes what I want here I want here this location so here I was looking for this location so I will get this location basically text stop okay so this will be a my remote location which is I have provided now here usage uses you have to use the same as default use this node as much much as possible now here launch method launch method you can choose here we have a multiple options so that you can choose and you can configure it according to your requirement according to your requirement so that if you'll go for this launch command it will ask and other things launch agent via SSH so that all the things it will ask so I will go here with this launch agent by connecting it to the master so here after doing after selecting this option you don't have to do anything just simply save it after saving this this option this node you will get which is showing offline now for that what you have to do for that just open that and go for this so I will copy this path and this command basically and I will execute this command into the windows machine so here I have a windows machine I need and here doing this you need to install Java first in windows so I will go ahead to the CD CD again CD here and now I will go to the program file 
so here inside the program I have a Java which is I have already installed so inside the Java you knew you, as you know so inside the Java as you know what you will get so here inside the Java JDK and inside the JDK I will get the pin so here I will execute that command simply I will execute this command over here now after executing this command you will find some prompt here like this how it is connect coming and now it's get connected now what next we have to do nothing we have to do here just minimize everything and go to the browser again so here I have a browser I will refresh this now I have refreshed this and I'm getting this page so this page is saying like agent is connected now you are connected with Windows machine after this what do you have to do go to the dashboard create a any freestyle job so here I will create test with freestyle so here I have created a test freestyle project and here you need to check this box restrict where this project can be run so I will give here win because win is a that node by which this uh, this particular job will get execute or run save this and later I will go ahead with the configuration what I have to configure over here so here as you can see yes it's win now I will go ahead execute windows bat command so here we have the option execute windows bat command now I will execute some of the command over here so first I will use here dir no I will use cd no not this one um, okay so I will go ahead again I need this location first property so I need this location first I will put this location over here so here I want to check what things are available on the desktop so now I will go ahead and I'll apply and save so here it's done now this time to build this okay go to the build executor build status and inside the build status you can see the console output now you can see so first this command worked so this command worked and take you to the desktop and after that dir command works and it's give you the details of the desktop available thing so that you can see remoting workspace open bad dot sorry open bad dot bad firefox data and all these things as you can see that that all are available here so if i'll close this that everything you can see here these all are coming so that means our this task has been done so this is the things what you have to do by other method that also we can do if you have requirement that you can contact me here on the Instagram by sending a direct message and also you can just contact me on my Skype which I will give both IDs inside the description so this is the video hope you like this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up and also please do comment if you have any suggestion any query and if you have not yet subscribed my youtube channel so please do subscribe and also press the bell icon to get the new video notification thank you so much for watching